Well, family, welcome back. This is Sharon and my two co-hosts. This is Jamal. We back at it again. This is TC. My dear, I, I never get a break. Mm. You don't T- need a break. TC done had a lot of breaks. You get a break when you die. All right. Well, guess who we talking about, folks? Guess who we talking about? Who, who, who we talking about, Jamal? Superman! <laughs> hey, Tiffany Henry! <laughs> oh, Tiff is at it again. Why can't you just sit back and be quiet and do nothing? Like she, you know, just stop. But you know what she did, y'all? On her Las Vegas trip, she that little entourage she took with her, one of her people. The trustees. But she was a trustee that got sexually no, assaulted. No. One of her uh, people in her group was um, uh, essayed by Tiffany's trustee. And, and it wasn't Jason House. <laughs> no. Nah, they said only one trustee went with him. So it wouldn't be hard to figure out which one it was. Oh, sure was. Since only one went with him. But anyway, she went out to dinner with him. And he got, she got, he put something in a drink. She got tipsy. And she woke up the next morning in bed with, with the, the trustee. Yeah. So we're going to play the clip right here. And we're going to, we're going to see what's going on here. Roll that uh, beautiful bean footage, please. Residents and trustees of Dalton passed a resolution calling for an investigation into the mayor's administration and spending. But the mayor vetoed that resolution. Mm. So Vice Christian Farr has a reaction from Dalton and a look at what happens next. We can always expect for the administration to use a lot of smoke and mirrors. Dalton trustee Brittany Norwood says she and a majority of her fellow village trustees will not stop in their fight to save the village. For the past several months, Norwood says certain trustees have been prevented from seeing Dalton's financial statements. Calling for an investigation of Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Which is why last month, those trustees passed that resolution during a special meeting where Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard was not in attendance. We feel that it's extremely important to have the authorities come in and force this administration to provide us with the information needed so that we can provide it to the residents regarding how the money is being spent. I must let the public know that the actions of the board are illegal. Yesterday, during a regular scheduled board meeting, Mayor Henyard vetoed that resolution and before doing it, listed all the good things her administration has done for the residents of Dalton. We help pay your light bill, guess. Consumer Cellular, this is Sam. How may I help you? This is a butt dial. Well, somebody's butt. Just thought I'd let you know. We even help you barely love them. We even did a mortgage and rental assistance, which was really, really dope. But when they still had access to Dalton's financial statements, Trustee Norwood says the village was $7 million in debt and suspects that that number has grown since then. Trustee Norwood says some vendors have been coming to them to figure out how to get paid. And the latest bill came from a vendor contracted to make posters. The mayor plans to poster around town with her picture on it, with cute sayings, and we're saying, hey, how can we afford this if we're in a deficit? Trustee Norwood and the other trustees who supported that investigation hope to override the veto by their next board meeting on April 1st. The misuse of funds is among the many allegations yeah, we discussed go, we in South Suburban all Dalton out. today. It's Residents it's got coming. a chance to tell village trustees what their concerns are, including a multi-million dollar deficit and multiple lawsuits the village is facing. NBC5's V. Went has this story. Dozens of Dalton residents filled this room at Lester Long facility Saturday morning for an event with the trustees, the special guest speaker, Dr. Nicole Scott. We just gotta keep pushing forward. She's the founder of American Association of Single Parents and says she's been running into problems with the village over plans to renovate her property downtown and to expand their food pantry, Free Indeed Market. Last year alone, we served over 20,000 individuals Mm -hmm. and we need to expand and they will not allow us to do that. Since last July, she's been trying to get approval for permits and licensing from the village with no movement, she says, and now believes Mayor Tiffany Henyard and her administration may have special interests 
interest in her property. I think that. Yeah, we gonna get into all, but I'm gonna air all her dirt out. Well, uh, I want to get in that fat boy, him the that that lady. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Don't worry, it's coming. It's in here. Hmm. And, and but how can you put up posters of yourself and not pay for them? Why do you expect the town to pay for posters of yourself? Why? Why, TC? Because she's delusional. She crazy. I mean, she got posters all around town and she ain't even paying for them. This Don't a, nobody want to see her. This is a sign of a narcissist. Narcissists do stuff like this. This is crazy. Well, I'm going to uh, take the property from us to get... to cite property tax issues and says the property has also failed multiple inspections. What they're saying is not true. It took them six months to tell me that the things that I submitted were not sufficient. And I think that that is a, a stall that is them trying to, you know, wait me out. This come. I need to take the heart and put it back in the Not only is it not going to be changing, it is Meanwhile, Dr. Nicole Scott says she is trying to raise money to hire an attorney to take her fight against the village to court. More drama in Dalton tonight. Several trustees are calling on the mayor and another village trustee to resign. Both are at the center of an investigation. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop started working on this case six months ago. She joins us now with more on what she's learned. Regina. I'm Mary and Stefan. Oh, we obtained copies of complaints accusing Mayor Tiffany Hanyard and an unnamed Dalton trust. Let's stop for a minute. The news didn't start covering this first. YouTubers put this out first. The news hopped on the bandwagon. Well, that's the way it's always been with Tiffany. YouTubers... Uh, put all the information out, didn't the news jump on it? And now it's out, a YouTuber put out about um, this woman being essayed by one of the Tiffany's trustees. Now the news is talking about it. And the YouTuber that put it out with Pink Book Lessons. I mean, it, it, this this is crazy what she did, though. Tiffany, uh, Tiffany words were... If this get out, this will destroy me. And she wasn't worrying about this woman being assaulted. She just worrying about herself being destroyed. Well, I'll some more. A sting of sexual harassment, retaliation, and discrimination. And the Department of Human Rights tells us it is investigating. At the center of it all, a trip they all took last year to Las Vegas and a sexual encounter one woman says was not consensual. Hands-on programs for hands-on people. ECPI University. I've always uh, like working with my hands. There are six elected trustees on the Dalton Village Board. Some of them joined Mayor Tiffany Henyard last May on an economic development trip to Las Vegas. It was on that trip that the mayor's now former assistant claims she was the victim of an unwanted sexual encounter carried out by an unnamed Dalton trustee. She filed this complaint with the Department of Human Rights. According to the woman's complaint, after having dinner with the unnamed trustee, she started to feel disoriented. Then she blacked out. The next morning, she woke up in the trustee's hotel room mm. with no memory of how she got there, experiencing physical discomfort. Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Mayor Henyard's security detail at the time, also filed a complaint with the Human Rights Department. He also went on that trip to Vegas and says in his complaint, the unnamed trustee called him on the phone and told him he had unprotected sex with the woman in the complaint. I'll stop right here for a minute. We're going to rule out another person who wasn't in the assault, and that was Keith Freeman. So, a process of elimination. You know who it is by now. It was the older man that was against Tiffany before. Now, all together, they were buddy buddies, allegedly. And also, this part is not alleged. Keith Freeman filed for bankruptcy. Wait a minute, shucky ducky, quack, quack. But why did he file for bankruptcy? Because he know what's about to go down in Dalton. It's going to be a matter of time the walls are closing in, and he's trying to protect his personal property. That's what that is. Any thoughts, anybody? I mean, this is just straight madness. I mean... 
How can you help somebody cover up an SA assault? That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. I mean, uh, they they totally disregard. I mean, the trustee uh, bragged to the sheriff. It was a police officer. The police officer, and nothing happened? You going to call a, a officer and say, hey, I had unprotected sex with... No, he. I guess he tried to make it sound like she was willing. Is that right? I guess so. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. I mean, as Tiffany Henry, as a woman, you gonna cover up something like this that happened to a woman? Yeah. How you have your rabbit ass mind think if you tell a police officer something, he's not gonna go back and say something? Well, I, I he he made it sound like it was, she was willing. He didn't say he drugged her, put some drugs in her drink. And she passed out. He didn't tell that part. Now, if if you're going to do something that stupid, why not take her to her room and let her pass out? Then you do the do and you go to your room. Why are you going to take her to your room? <laughs> well, we can help you out now. That's... It's like Forrest Gump said, I'm not a smart man. <laughs> hey. I'll play some more. He says he recorded some of their conversation. According to both complaints, the woman says when she told the mayor about the incident, the mayor said if this information became public, she'd be ruined. All the work she'd done would be lost. The ex-employee says the mayor told her she would take care of it and to trust her. Days later, according to her complaint, the woman was put on unpaid medical leave without her consent. She was later terminated. Wow. Tammy Brown. <laughs> that's how, that's how she's going to take care of it? Fire? Yeah, that's how she's going to take care of it. They ain't gonna make it sound like she's a disgruntled employee. Really? Now, how are you? Well, first of all, you shouldn't even trust Tiffany Henry to take care of no. nothing. Only thing you're gonna trust Tiffany Henry is to run off her mouth and lie. Then look out for herself. Tiffany, make sure she look out for herself. And run up a seven million dollar a seven million dollar debt. It could be higher than that. Who knows? Cause she's not giving out any information or receipts no more. It could be well over seven million. Um, right now, if if that if I was that 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 woman that got assaulted, I'd be screaming that man's name to the rooftop. I won't try to keep his name private, would you? I sure wouldn't. I I wouldn't either. But the thing is, Tiffany here is so. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I was about to say something. But Tiffany is so stupid. She can't she don't even realize half the lies she tells her half the time. Well she tells she tells so many lies to keep up with them. When you lie, you gotta keep up with the lie that you told before so you can validate the lie that you told before. So in order not to have to keep up with all your lies, just tell the truth. I mean mm, this is in Brittany Norwood did not go on that trip to Vegas. I bet they glad they did. About these allegations. They tell NBC5 they're stunned to learn about the investigation by the Department of Human Rights and the allegations made by the mayor's former assistant. That could have been any one of us. That could have been either trustee. That could be anybody. I'm furious. This makes no sense. I'm hurt and I'm furious. That, that means that these people have known about this for some time. That's, it. That's almost a year later. The biggest fear is always how far is this going to go before someone gets hurt. She's already hurt. And now I feel like this is what it's come to. The trustees say the mayor should have immediately launched an investigation. They're calling on the mayor and the unnamed trustee to resign. For you to cover up something like this, allegations of someone doing this to someone, it's horrible. And you cannot leave the village of Dalton under these circumstances. Everybody involved, if you hold a position, you should resign immediately. There's already enough shame being, being brought to this village. How much more? How much more? In a statement, trustee Jason House says he did not go on that trip to Vegas. NBC5 reached out to the two remaining trustees for comment, but didn't hear back. 
The village, in a statement, told NBC5 it conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations led by an independent third-party company. Right, stop it. They, they, didn't do, they didn't do a thing. Nothing. They all too busy trying to cover up a crime. Well, they didn't try to. They did. That's the way it goes in this world. When you got connections, you can make things happen. Yeah, but like I said, if that was me or even if it was any woman, if somebody the trustee did something to you, you need to call out some names. Yeah. I mean, maybe, well, her name wasn't called out, so. She need to call his name out. Yeah. I I mean, you filed a complaint, your name going to be known anyway. So uh, why not call him out and, and demand that this man be arrested? Who knows? And and you uh, uh you done told the mayor that this happened to you and she fired you? It it's just how to, this not how to handle things. I mean she didn't even investigate. She just fired her. She was worried about that it could hurt her potential potential to be the mayor of the town. She was worried about self image. Yeah, but how can you just close your eyes to a crime? This that's a crime. She she is a criminal. <laughs> well, and she surrounds herself with criminals, too. So well, That's true. I'll play some more. The statement goes on to say former police officer Miles was interviewed and denied knowing anything about these allegations, and the alleged victim refused to cooperate with our investigation. Uh. The statement continues, this is nothing more than two disgruntled village employees uh. trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. The village looks forward to defending these allegations and pursuing all other available remedies to the village. To clarify, Byron Miles is still a Dalton police officer. Now we asked the yeah, that's the one who he report he reported to Tiffany. Then he got um, demoted. Oh wow! So she fired her former aide and demoted him. Yeah, that's true. Wow! Make it make sense, people. Make it make sense. Wow, Tiffany? I mean, can't you put two thoughts together? I mean, really? You you didn't think about this? I mean, you didn't say, now wait a minute, if I do this, this will happen, if I do that. I mean, really? You would think she, she won't be, well, I won't put up enough as, about uh, Tiffany. She is just plain out stupid. See, criminals know how to cover up criminal activity. Not don't ask me how I know. How you know? I used to do some criminal activities back in the day. Wow! <laughs> you know TC knows because he's done it. Wow! Criminal activities. Uh, Only difference is there. We weren't putting ourselves on social media, wow. and we we were smart about our stuff and know when to get out. Really? Oh, you know this is not anything to brag about. Uh, really? We're not right. Really? We, okay. You just what? We just tell you, you know, the, what, how criminals act. How criminals act. Dumb. Not all of them. Not all of them. Mm. Well, I mean, uh, so it, it maybe she um, figured, okay, I, I, I fired ya. Uh, you then you know you you won't have a case or you 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 won't say nothing if I fire you. I mean, uh, don't you think that uh, that'll add a uh, 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 a little gasoline to the fire if you know you went to a mayor and told him about a complaint and you got fired? You would think she would let her keep her job because she got some dirt on her, but you go fire someone who got dirt on you? Come on, people. I mean, you can't make this type of stuff up right here. Well, nobody said Tiffany was smart. We just said she was a criminal. We didn't say she was smart. Oh. I, I I think Forrest Gump had more sense than Tiffany. Don't you think? I believe so too. I believe um I see how I say this. I'm gonna say this in a nice way. A developmentally delayed kid has more sense than this. Oh wow. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I, I even think my dog got more sense oh, than wow. this. And I'm not saying too much about my dog. You call it stupid. <laughs> yeah, I do. Wow. <laughs> Any final talk? 
I mean, how you gonna be this stupid? Oh well, she's a criminal. She, I mean, we never said she was the brightest criminal in the box. No, she's not the brightest. But <clears throat> now, let us know what you think about old, old Tiff Tiff. I mean, this is how she handled things by firing people, denying them their license so they can do business and and uh, really. I mean, you you want to be the the star in the group, and this, this is not how to be the star in the group. I mean, you know, give us a thumbs up. Like, you know, just, just like us now. Come on now. We work for you. Hey. So, give us a thumbs up and share and then subscribe and then leave us a comment. And it's Tiffany's last meeting. She had trouble reading the document the words that she typed up. This lets you know this woman is not smart. Oh, wow. <laughs> that don't mean she's not smart just because she can't read. Well, reading is really? a big part of it. <laughs> reading is a big part of it. Hey, she she didn't see reading rainbow when they used to come on. Remember uh, reading rainbow? Those are the days. Yeah, so, you know, she missed out on that. Yeah. Reading rainbow. I mean, you know. And but you know she was too busy uh thinking about how to steal people's husbands and and how to steal money and how to break into cards and you know and lie and you know, stuff like that. She didn't have time for reading. Ain't nobody got time to be sitting around reading no book. So sure, there's just too much to do out here. But folks, uh, tell us what you think about old Tiff Tiff. I mean, this woman she just keep going from bad to worse. But, and she already know the FBI is investigating her. So she keep going from bad to worse. When, when you think if if the FBI was investigating you, well, wouldn't you think you might clean up a little bit and do, do, do some things right? You would think you? she would resign, but she ain't smart enough to do that. I know, she got to have that power. Well, well, folks, that's, that's all I got. I mean, y'all, anything else, anything? Nope, that's it. Okay, well, be blessed.